Lengthy road trip for Washington, Kentucky ended in a split today as Southern Ohio won game one and then lost game two. Now Kevin looking at game one first, Southern Ohio took the game three to one. And I think the key to that game was obviously pitching. Came down to Zach Esposito who came in kind of a spot start and did terrific. Yeah, there's no way to say enough about what Zach Esposito was able to do on the mound today. Uh, went five innings and just pitched very well uh, in a spot start appearance. Uh, very pleased with what he was able to do today. Yeah, now in the other game, the pitching was not quite as good and the bats were quite honestly silent as Joe Wall started that a bit of a spot start for him. He was not nearly as good as Zach Esposito was in the bats. I mean, far too many strikeouts in this one. You can't win a baseball game that way. Yeah, it was definitely a frustrating day uh, for the bats. Uh, seven strikeouts in game two, 16 overall, uh, actually 17 overall. So just not a very good day at the plate. Uh, for the Copperheads team. They're going to have to rebound here in the next few days. Following today's split, Southern Ohio goes to 17-12 and 12 on the season. They're still in that third spot in the GL-SCL standings, and they'll look to improve upon that tomorrow as they take on the Lake Erie Monarchs. It'll be a doubleheader at Bob Brand Stadium. But an important note, the first game of that doubleheader is not going to be open to the public at 2 o'clock, so you can listen in to Kevin and I as we broadcast that on either Power 105 in Athens or on the website for the team. Just click on the home broadcast. Then the second game will be tentatively scheduled for 5.30. You can come check that out or, as always, listen to us in the broadcast. And the last thing I'll note, as I always do, make sure you check out our social media. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and most importantly, go to the YouTube page, search Copperheads Baseball, and you'll constantly find not only these updates, not these only these recaps, but other stuff surrounding the team. But with that being said, He's been Kevin Noonan, I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a recap of the Copperhead split with uh, Lexington today.